How to use ChatGPT to translate your files and how to make ChatGPT to use your own glossary. This is something I'm going to show to you right now. So let's get into it. So if you want to use ChatGPT to translate um, your Trados SDL clip files or to use ChatGPT in any other CAD tool in any other translation software, then you first need uh, to configure it a little bit. So go to this language and settings and language in Bohemicus and uh, click chat GPT, select Ch chat GPT. And then you will also need uh, to insert your open, and, uh, open AI um, API key, which is here. If you don't know how to get this OpenAI API key, then I will link a video about this uh, in the description below. So insert uh, your OpenAI key here and then just click this configuration button, this cogwheel icon. And your configuration chat GPT settings window will open. Here you can uh, choose your chat GPT engine which in this case is GPT 3.5 Turbo. Uh, this engine seems to have the best price uh, value ratio. You can also choose other engines, but just be careful uh, because uh, various engines, different engines might have very different pricing. So for instance, uh, chat GPT-4 is currently something like 10 times uh, more expensive than chat GPT chat gpt 3.5 so select your engine and then you can select the so-called temperature temperature is actually creativity how creative the chat gpt engine will be when translating your texts so it can be a value between zero and one where zero is the lowest creativity almost no creativity at all and one is the maximum creativity when you choose one it might be that chat GPT will just make stuff up a little bit. It will improvise uh, very much. It will be very creative, but it might not be very accurate. So it seems that 0.7 is the optimum uh, creativity, but you can experiment with this as much as you want. And uh, then, then you can also provide some additional instructions. So for instance, uh, you can say use formal, vo use formal voice and avoid vulgarities. You can simply write it uh, here. Uh, but uh, it seems that ChatGPT has its own mind. So it might respect your instructions or it might uh, not. So I encourage you to experiment with this setting uh, a little bit and you will see what effect it actually might have on your translations. And then perhaps the most important setting is uh, this glossary. So you can actually insert your own glossary. This means the terms that you would like ChatGPT to use when translating your files. As you can see, you should structure it in two columns. In this case, uh, the left column is in English and the right column is in Czech. And you can divide the individual terms, so the original term in English and the target term in your target language. You can divide it by space or by a tab or by a column, like in this case, or by a dash. Uh, it can actually be any logical separator you want. And as soon as you have uh, finished, as you have finished setting this chat GPT up, you can simply click save and uh, you will go back uh, to your main window. And now when you want to create, when you want to translate, when you want to translate your Trados file, then you can go to this um, Trados tab and uh, you can actually drag and drop your file onto Bohemicus and uh, you can simply click translate. Now chat GPT is a little bit slower, so it's significantly slower than uh, Google or DeepL, so you will have to wait a couple of minutes for the translation to be ready. And as you can see, uh, it has finished translating, so we can close this window 
we can minimize Bohemicus and uh, we can actually open the file in Trados to see how it's been translated. And as you can see, you can see everything here. And uh, also the glossary should have been respected, so let's just check. It's not 100%, sometimes chat GPT will respect the glossary, sometimes not. So you will have to check it. But as, as you can see, here we have appliance translated into Czech as Spotrebič, and uh, which we have uh, here appliance and uh, Spotrebič here in Czech. So it seems that it works. So thank you for watching and uh, see you in another video.